Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So we're starting a new series for the channel called Retro Reviews. So we're going to take a look back at one handheld game per month and today's game we're going to talk about is Super Mario Land 2, 6 golden coins on the Game Boy. So without further ado, let's make a start on that review. This is a Game Boy game that was first released in 1992, but didn't come to Europe until January 28th, 1993. It became one of the highest rated and best selling Game Boy games, selling over 10 million copies. You were able to download this on the 3DS, but that store has now closed. But the game is available as part of the Nintendo Switch online membership. The story, so this is one of the few games to differ from Saving Peach from Bowser. A jealous childhood acquaintance named Wario puts an evil spell over Mario's private island named Mario Land. Really have got to get into plumbing because if he can afford an island then... Wow, yeah. <laughs> We're carrying on. Wario manages to cast a spell to take over Mario's castle and brainwash everyone into believing Wario is their master and that Mario is the enemy. Mario must travel through Mario Land and collect the six golden coins. Once Mario regains entry to his castle, he must defeat Wario. The gameplay. So the controls are simple, A is your jump and your swim button, B is your run and your fireball button or it could be your hover button just depending on what special you have and then your d-pad is your move. These might differ if you're playing this on the switch but I think it will just be a case of using the joystick rather than the d-pad. As with all Mario games, the goal is simple, kill or avoid enemies and obstacles and reach the end of the level. Unlike most Mario games, instead of 100 coins granting you an extra life, 100 coins will unlock a special area which that then awards you extra lives or power-ups. Much like the NES and the SNES Mario games, Six Golden Coins has an overworld map. There are 32 levels spread across six zones and you can choose in which order you want to do the zones. Each zone has a different enemy and finally you will face off with Wario once you get to the final castle. A power up that was unique to Six Golden Coins until recently is Bunny Mario. This power-up is activated by eating the magic carrot. This allows Mario to jump higher and then slow down his descent. Okay, let's talk about the price point for this game. So for most people, the easiest way to play this is going to be through that Nintendo Switch Online service. But if you do have a Game Boy or a Game Boy Color or Game Boy Advance lying around, you can pick this up from CEX for £18 just for the cartridge. Boxed version is going to set you back £42. And then a mint condition version is selling currently for £52. That's about the same price as eBay as well. Now if you obviously go to your independent retro game shops, you can sometimes do some haggling. To, uh, to bring the price down a little bit, but I think that's about the best prices you are gonna get for this. The great thing is, if you do play this on a Game Boy Color, it actually turns the game into a color version, which is quite a nice effect if you, uh, if you have got the game and a Game Boy Color. Just a few final thoughts from me then. So there's two games that stand out as my favourite Mario games of all time. It's Super Mario Brothers 3 and then it's Super Mario Land 2, 6 Golden Coins. I think for me, this one is probably top of the list as my favourite game of all time. Yes, it's lots of nostalgia talking, but it's something completely different. You know, it's 
stepping away from the whole rescuing Peach thing. And not only that, remember this is from 1992 on that absolute brick of a Game Boy. And the things we were able to do, it's quite incredible just how far they were able to push the system. If you play the first game, Super Mario Land, and then you see the progress up to this game, it's incredible. Still um, looks great today. I'd love to see a 2.5D remaster, similar to what we had on like the 3DS. That would be incredible. But yeah, I don't think this game gets enough credit for what it did for handheld gaming. Thank you so much for watching. As I said at the start, this is something we're going to be doing every month. We're going to be doing our retro review. So if you have enjoyed it, leave a comment below because I'm still looking for my next retro review. Let me know what you'd like to see. If you're new, hit subscribe, leave a like. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks a lot, everyone. Take care, guys. Thank you.